y'all. So, it is I, Fergie, a.k.a. Rocky, a.k.a. Fergalicious, B.K.A. Ashley, A. Ferg, whatever you want to call me. I'm just bullshitting because I'm drugged. <clears throat> but, anywho, my nose is stopped up, so don't make fun. I have probably blown all the all the uh, makeup off of my nose area. Hope it doesn't look bad on camera. But if it does, I don't care. I kind of know. I don't care. Um, <clears throat> but this is a what the fuck video. So let me get into that because you know these can get long with my storyteller ass. So I'm going to start off. Uh, I'm going to go in a sequence of events. So I went and got a car, right? And this shit is really funny because I went up there. I looked at a Toyota Corolla. Um, I think I told y'all in my update video, my Mr. Millennium's rent, um, what kind of car I got. If you haven't seen the video, I got an 08 Galant for $8,000, which is a steal. So, um, and no, I have a car note. So I'll be paying on a car note for like uh, 16 months, which is awesome because I put 3000 down. That's not what this video is about. So, here's what the video is about. So, <laughs> I went to get the fucking car, right? I was getting the Corolla. Test drove the Corolla. Love the Corolla. Got the money. Came back. And they were like, oh, excuse me. We can't give you the Corolla because the Corolla is 16000 I was like, oh, shit. Well, I don't want the Corolla because I'm going to a little tote note place but it's so much better than a tote note place because this guy he really works with you he's an african he buys all the cars from the auction um they do all these ex inspections and everything on them and it's cool beans so look these are the what the fucks that i have to do about the car buying experience and the car itself i'm gonna start with the car buying experience so i come in right and they tell me that i can get the corolla we're gonna give you this glut so i look at the glut i walked toward the back of the glut and got in the glut and i test drove the glut love the glut Cool beans. So, <clears throat> I went ahead and purchased the Galant. And it came time for me to put the money down. Now, initially, they had just handed me the keys, right? And I was like, uh, okay, bye. Like, I didn't even give you all the money down. And they were like, oh, did you pay the damn payment? I was like, oh, no. <laughs> so, I gave them my car. Car machine is broken. Now, when you come in, it says no checks. But we do take cash and we do take credit and debit cards, right? So I already just knew. Look, my little Walmart money card got a Visa logo. I got a clout. I'm about to go in here and swipe this card. I'm going to get in my new vehicle and I'm going to drive off into the sunset. No, because the fucking car machine wasn't working. Now, when you swipe a car for $3,000, it has you thinking like... This bitch ain't got no money. I did have the money. So, I was like, no, the money is on there. And they're looking at me like, this is a Walmart car. You can only use this at Walmart. And I'm like, no, you African motherfucker. This is a Walmart money card. That means that it is a debit card with a Visa logo. And I get direct deposits. Obviously, there's money on there. Uh, swipe my shit again. So he goes to swipe it again. Come to find out it's the machine and not me because the guy who was there to make his car payment, they swiped his car and his shit was declined as well. And I'm like, likelihood of that is two motherfuckers didn't come up here, waste their gas for a motherfucking uh, charade to not have money on these fucking cars. And then what? So, um, shit, my nose is running. So, um, <clears throat> After that, they're like, you can just go to the bank. First of all, it's 649, bitch. The banks are closed. Second of all, this is a Walmart money card, and it does not have a bank local. It's MetaBank, which is probably some bullshit-ass bank that's non-existent in the physical form. It's all online and fucking over the phone. So I was like, nope, can't go to the bank. All the banks are closed. I could probably get a cash advance at a regular bank, but the fucking banks are closed. So then they're like, oh, we can take you down the street to a PLS uh, check cashing. And I'm like... Okay, cool, because at this point, 
I think that day I got dropped off up there and my ride had hair to do. And so I wasn't trying to get a ride back. Anyway, I, my plan was to drive myself home. So I was like, fuck that other shit. Let's let's go. And then I got to thinking while I was riding a car, I'm like, PLS check cash. And these motherfuckers not finna give me no cash advance off of a card. They cash checks. So I went ahead and called them and they confirmed that they don't give cash advances. And so then they had a bright idea of... <clears throat> taking me to Walmart. Now, I go to Walmart <coughs> to get the cash advance because they have a bank inside called Will Forest Bank. Cool. Go to Will Forest Bank. They tell me that they can do a cash advance, but they have been having problems with Walmart money cards. It's something normally doesn't work with them. And I was like, please just try it because I'm trying to purchase you know, a vehicle or whatever. So he's like, well, we can only swipe it once a day. And if you swipe it today and it doesn't go through, you won't be able to do it again until tomorrow. And I was like, okay, fine. The money's there. He's like, how much do you want to swipe it for? So I told him 2500 because I was supposed to be paying 3000 there, but I was like, fuck it. They can take 2500 for all this inconvenience. So he swiped it for 2500 The shit didn't go through. That definitely makes me look like I ain't got the motherfucking money because the African man who owns the place sent me with his little friend and his little Lexus, his little African friend, his little Lexus, and he's like, fuck, you know, it didn't work, and I was like, no, it didn't work, and so he was like, do you have the money, and I was like, yes, I have the money, and he was like, well, uh, Oh, shit. No. No, this is how it went. Went to the motherfucking Walmart in the hood on Wheatland, and they motherfucking cash advance machine wasn't working first off. And then they told me to go to Cedar Hill to get the money. So, he was like, if we can't get the money in Cedar Hill, somebody gonna get their ass whipped. That's what the African man said. And I was thinking the same thing, because, bitch, now it's like 7 o'clock, and I'm ready to fucking go home. And so, uh, we drove all the way to Cedar Hill. And so that's probably like 11 miles away. And then we uh, get there and that's when they swipe the car and the shit was declined. So he really like, bitch, you ain't got no money. You got me driving all over the motherfucking city, bitch. And you ain't got no money on this motherfucking car. So I was like, no, you gonna hear this prompt because I'm gonna call my motherfucking uh, hotline and I'm gonna let you hear how much money is on this car. So <clears throat> by this time, my phone done went dead. And I called Walmart money card on his phone. And so he's like, uh, I'm trying to put this shit on speaker so he can hear my available balance so he can know I'm not fucking tripping out. So he don't know how to work his fucking phone so we couldn't put the bitch on speaker. Anywho, I speak to the lady. She tells me that my car has a cash advance limit of $400. I can only get $400 on a cash advance, but I can get $400 however many times I want to get it. But... Will Forest Bank only lets you do the cash back transaction one time, which is some bullshit, some fuckery. So I was trying to explain that to him. You know, Africans ain't got no type of comprehension. So I was just like, just take me back. I'm pissed off at this point. Like, fuck this like fuck y'all fuck this car i want to go home and and one of you motherfuckers is gonna take me to my mama house so she can take me home and i was fussing already and i was like matter of fact uh one of y'all gonna take me home and the little african that was driving me around was like i'm not driving to plano and so i was like man this is bullshit and so, I was like, fuck it, take, just take me back. And so, uh, we get to the motherfucking dealership. They're supposed to close at 6, 6.30. It's already 7.30 by this time. And so, he was like, uh, I'll get one of my guys to take you home. And I'm thinking to myself, one of your guys, like, who the fuck is one of your guys in? Like, do I really want... Do I really want to get home that bad? And so then I was like, maybe I should just spend a night at my mom's house because she stays walking distance from the place or whatever. And I was like, they going to have to drop me off at my mama's house and my mama just going to have to take me to school in the morning. My mama wasn't trying to hear that shit. She was like, you can catch the bus. And I was like, fuck that. So one of them volunteered to take me home and I took the motherfucking ride, creepy dude or not. Like, get me to my motherfucking house. So got to my motherfucking house, went back, got the car the next day. Uh, we did, <clears throat> they finally got that car machine fixed, so we did two transactions of $1,000, and I was supposed to come back up there to pay the other 1000 <laughs> Because my cash, my, my, my purchase limit 
is uh, $2,000 a day. So, I have to come back to get him another thousand the next day. But I got the cart that day. Glove could probably look like somebody spilled some milk in that hole, dumped a guard in that hole to roll a blunt, and fucking ate a sandwich and put the bread uh, edges in this motherfucking cup holder. So, I was like, no, one of you motherfuckers is going to have to clean that cup holder before I get in this bitch. Number two thing about the cart that I don't like. And all this time, I haven't said what the fuck, huh? Well, who who the fuck has a business? Who the fuck has a business where the car swipe machine ain't working? Who the fuck chauffeurs somebody around bank to bank to get the money instead of just saying, hey, go home and try again tomorrow because we better to close. Okay? Anywho, um, why the fuck would a person, the person who had this car before me put rhinestones around the headlights? Like, I didn't see that shit until I got home. I was like, why the fuck? Fuck are these rhinestones around my headlights and these hoes clouding the bitch like they don't went from clear to yellow so it just looks super duper tacky and then some of them are missing on the right hand side where you're facing the car and so I try to peel the rest of them hoes off no bueno so I'm gonna have to get some like goo gone or something and go to work on that hole one day when I have time um why the fuck is this cup holder so fucking dirty and why nobody didn't clean that before y'all even attempted to sell a car like we're not driving away with this shit in my cup holder. Like, clean this motherfucking console in this cup holder. So, they cleaned it for me or whatever. Those are the only two things that I don't like about the car. Um, the air conditioning wasn't working the next day when I tried to turn it on. But I took it there and they fixed that. They just needed to put some, um... Uh, and a freeze in it. And so, yeah, basically that's it. I know that this whole motherfucking story took, like, up the whole fucking video. So, I ain't even gonna try to do my other what the fuck. So, I'll just do it in another video. So, I'll talk to y'all in that video.